So hi, I'm Martin, uh, trainer for the Welsh Ambulance Service and I'm based in TLWI here in North Region. We're going to be talking about eye gel insertion uh, and for that we need uh, this kit on the table in front of me. So for adult eye gel insertion we have a size 3, a size 4 and size 5 uh, with weight, weight ranges uh, indicated on each size. Uh, you would select the appropriate size eye gel for the size of your patient. So together with the eye gels we have the catheter mount, we have the bacterial filter and the Thomas clamp. Okay so we're going to look at the criteria for uh, the use of eye gel and uh, it forms part of the stepwise approach to managing air and your airway uh, in an unconscious patient uh, or use in a cardiac arrest patient. So let's look at the technique of preparing the eye gel. So I've selected the correct size here for the patient. Um, I remove the eye gel from the cradle. I'll use one sachet of um, lubricant and I'm going to introduce the lubricant just to the body top part of the cradle here. I'm then going to lubricate the rear end of the eye gel like so and then just a very small amount on the tip of the eye gel. I'm going to then place the eye gel back into the cradle, lubed, ready to go. Okay, so we're going to apply a basic airway manoeuvre, the head tilt, chin lift. Then we're going to grab the eye gel that's already lubricated, hold it like a pen, and place it into the airway in this direction, push down until there's resistance. There's a black line at the top of the eye gel itself. That needs to be in line with the teeth or the lips of the patient. Then you're going to attach your catheter mount. Then your bacteria filter. Then connect your BVM, bag valve mask. Then I'm going to gently squeeze the bag and check for rise and fall of the chest. There was rise and fall there, so now I need to secure the eye gel. And for this, I'm going to use the Thomas clamp. So looking at the Thomas clamp, you have a white locking device here and a locking um, tab here. So if you press the tab at the top, you can pull the yellow locking bar away quickly. Looking at the top side of the clamp, there is a symbol of a nose, which gives you the indication that that needs to be closest to the patient's nose, and an additional bite block as part of the clamp itself. So we're going to position the clamp in place with the bite block going inside the patient's mouth. The symbol of the nose is parallel to the patient's nose. And then rather than twisting this locking bar in, which takes time, you can just press on that uh, locking tab at the top and push the yellow locking bar to the eye gel and then just turn it once or twice to tighten up to make it firm. Then pass the strap underneath the patient's neck And on the other side, feed the strap through the, the hole of the other side of the clamp, push down the Velcro strips to meet, and the clamp is in position. So if the patient uh, has a return of spontaneous circulation uh, and starts to gag on the eye gel, um, the action then is to remove the clamp Put the clamp to one side, turn the patient's head to the side, encourage the patient to cough. If they're able to cough, as they cough, pull the eye gel out. If not, pull the eye gel away 
and reassess the airway. So we've discussed airway management and eye gel insertion. Um, if following this video you have any further questions, then please get in touch with your regional trainer.